Measles, a highly contagious viral infection, has been a persistent threat to public health worldwide, despite the availability of vaccines. Understanding the causes, symptoms, and methods of diagnosis is crucial for effective management and prevention of its spread. Additionally, adopting safety measures is imperative to protect oneself and others from this potentially serious disease. Causes of Measles Measles is caused by the measles virus, scientifically known as morbillivirus. This virus primarily spreads through respiratory droplets expelled from an infected person's cough or sneeze. It can also survive on surfaces for several hours, making indirect transmission possible through contact with contaminated objects. Individuals who haven't been vaccinated or previously infected are most susceptible to contracting the virus. Moreover, crowded environments with poor ventilation facilitate its spread, making outbreaks more common in such settings. Which virus causes measles? Measles is caused by an extremely contagious virus known as morbillivirus. This virus spreads through the air when an infected person breathes, coughs, sneezes, or talks, making it an airborne disease. When you breathe in the particles from someone with measles, you become susceptible to the virus. Remarkably, airborne droplets containing the virus can linger in a room for up to two hours after the infected person has left, increasing the risk of transmission. Additionally, the virus can spread through various means, including sharing drinks or food, kissing, shaking hands, or even through contact with contaminated surfaces. Furthermore, pregnant individuals can transmit the virus to their babies during pregnancy, delivery, or breastfeeding, underscoring the importance of taking preventive measures. Understanding how measles spreads is crucial for implementing effective strategies to prevent its transmission and protect vulnerable individuals from contracting this highly contagious virus. Symptoms of Measles The onset of measles symptoms usually manifests 10 to 14 days following exposure to the virus. Initially, individuals may mistake the symptoms for those of a common cold, experiencing fever, cough, runny nose, and red watery eyes. However, as the infection progresses, distinctive signs of measles become evident. Notably, a characteristic rash emerges, typically starting on the face and then spreading to other areas of the body. This rash is often accompanied by a high fever, further indicating the presence of measles. In addition to the rash and fever, individuals may also develop sensitivity to light, a sore throat, and the appearance of coplic spots inside the mouth, which are small white spots with a bluish center. Recognizing these specific symptoms is crucial for prompt diagnosis and appropriate management of measles cases, as early identification allows for timely medical intervention and implementation of infection control measures to prevent further transmission. Diagnosis of Measles Diagnosing measles is a comprehensive process that incorporates clinical evaluation, laboratory analyses, and epidemiological investigation. Healthcare professionals begin by assessing the patient's symptoms, paying particular attention to the characteristic rash associated with measles, alongside considering the individual's potential exposure to the virus. Clinical evaluation plays a crucial role in identifying suspected cases and initiating appropriate management strategies. Laboratory tests are often employed to confirm the diagnosis of measles. Blood tests may be conducted to detect the presence of measles virus antibodies, indicating recent or past infection. Throat swabs may also be utilized to collect samples for testing the genetic material of the virus. These laboratory analyses provide definitive evidence of measles infection, aiding in accurate diagnosis and treatment decisions. What to do to stay safe? Preventing measles involves a multifaceted approach, including vaccination, practicing good hygiene, and staying informed about outbreaks. The measles vaccine, usually administered as part of the measles, mumps, and rubella MMR vaccine, is highly effective in preventing infection. It is typically given in two doses, with the first dose recommended at 12 to 15 months of age and the second dose at 4 to 6 years of age. Adults who haven't been vaccinated or lack evidence of immunity should also consider vaccination, especially before traveling to areas with high measles transmission rates. In addition to vaccination, 
practicing good hygiene habits can help reduce the risk of measles transmission. This includes frequent hand washing with soap and water, especially after coughing, sneezing, or using the restroom. Avoiding close contact with individuals who are sick or showing symptoms of measles is also important. Furthermore, covering the mouth and nose with a tissue or elbow when coughing or sneezing can help prevent the spread of respiratory droplets containing the virus. When should I contact my healthcare provider? Contact your healthcare provider if you think you or your child have had contact with someone with measles. If you or your child has measles and seem to be getting worse and not better, call your provider. People who are pregnant and infants younger than 12 months are most susceptible to complications, so it's important to contact a healthcare provider if either of these apply to you. MMR Vaccine Healthcare providers recommend two doses of the MMR vaccine for children. The first shot is given when children are around 12 to 15 months old. They usually need the second dose when they're 4 or 5 years old. If your child hasn't been immunized, measles can still be prevented by receiving the vaccine within three days of exposure to the virus. If you plan on traveling internationally with your child, you can get them an early dose of the vaccine starting at 6 months old. You still must complete the other two doses later. If you're an adult and unsure about whether you've been vaccinated against measles, talk to your healthcare provider about getting the vaccine. It's especially important if you're planning to travel internationally. In most cases, it doesn't hurt to get another measles vaccine. Staying informed about measles outbreaks and following public health guidelines is essential for staying safe. Monitoring updates from reputable sources, such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, or the World Health Organization, WHO, can help individuals make informed decisions about their health and take appropriate precautions. In the event of a measles outbreak in a community or region, individuals should follow recommendations from public health authorities, such as getting vaccinated or avoiding non-essential travel to affected areas. Measles remains a significant public health concern globally, despite the availability of vaccines. Understanding the causes, symptoms, and methods of diagnosis is crucial for early detection and management of the disease. Additionally, adopting safety measures, including vaccination, practicing good hygiene, and staying informed about outbreaks, is essential for preventing measles transmission and protecting oneself and others from this potentially serious infection. By taking proactive steps and following public health guidelines, individuals can contribute to efforts to control and eliminate measles outbreaks, ultimately improving the health and well-being of communities worldwide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.